Hello, hello! My name is Corrine from the North Balfour Library with Lakeland Library Region, and welcome to episode 53 of Border Busters! Woohoo! And we are getting back to some cooking, finally! I know it has been so hot lately, so I thought it might be nice to come up with a nice salad for us to eat that still is very nutritious, but it's still super fun. So today, we are going to be making pizza pasta salad. So yummy. Let's get started. What you'll need for today. Two cups of pasta. I've just got some macaroni pasta, but you can use kind of whatever you want or have available. We're going to add some peppers. I've got a yellow, a red, and an orange one. So I'm probably going to use the yellow and the orange, and I'm going to do a half cup of each. One and a half cups of cherry tomatoes. I have some colored ones here, or a variety pack I should say. A cup of pizza mozzarella, but I might eat add a little bit extra because who doesn't love cheese? A half a cup of red onion. One and a half cup of mini pepperoni or I'm just gonna cut up this pizza pepperoni. And a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. You can also adapt this to whatever you like on your pizza. So if you like olives or mushrooms or pineapples, you can add that in as well. So it's basically whatever you want on your pizza. And then for the dressing, it's pizza. So we need tomato sauce. I've got this and we're gonna use one cup of that. You'll also need a pot to boil your pasta in, a big bowl to make your pasta, your salad into, a cutting board or plate and a knife to cut up all of your ingredients, and a big spoon to mix everything together. Are you guys ready to begin? Okay, so start by bringing your pot of water to a boil, and then add your two cups of pasta. And then you want to cook this so that it's al dente. So that means that it's fully cooked, but there's a, it's still a little bit tough when you cook, when you bite into it. Make sure to keep stirring it so that it doesn't boil over. So this takes about uh, 10 minutes. While we're doing that, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. While we're doing that, let's go over and start chopping up the rest of the stuff that we'll put into our pasta. Okay, so we're gonna start by chopping up our peppers. So I've got my measuring cup here. So we're gonna be really careful about how we're doing this. And after you chop each item, go ahead and go and give it your pasta a stir. So what I'm going to do is, with the pepper is I'm cutting around the top to get the green part out. I'm being very careful with this. And pull that out. And then you've got that. And then you cut this in half. Okay, and we'll bake up one of these. And then you take your knife and you cut out the little white part inside here. And 
And then I usually go and give my pasta, my pepper rinse to make sure I get all the seeds out. The seeds are what are spicy. Okay. And because I was up anyways, I stirred the pasta. And now we're just gonna cut this into smaller pieces. Might help if you can, you know, actually see what I'm doing. Like this and go. So a trick that I was taught when cutting stuff is you push forward and then back. And then it just gives you that little bit of momentum so that you're not cutting, you're not pressing too hard and cutting towards yourself because when you're cutting towards yourself that with a dull blade, that is when you're most likely to cut yourself. So. And I'm just kind of making these bite-sized. And if you wanted to, you could probably fry up your peppers and uh, onions ahead of time too, or eat them raw, whichever you like. And I'm just gonna start putting these in here. Cause I'm gonna have a half cup of yellow and a half cup of either red or orange because that's what I was able to buy at the store. Technically the recipe calls for red and green peppers, but sometimes you just gotta make do. And because of how much yellow pepper I cut out, this is actually going to be my full cup, so I guess we're just using one color of pepper in here today. And of course, you've got to sample your ingredients while you're cooking too, make sure that everything's going to taste all right. Just gonna cut off a little bit more. Okay, so we've got a cup of peppers. Toss that in there. Okay, so we're gonna start by chopping up our peppers. So I've got my measuring cup here. So, we're going to be really careful about how we're doing this. And after you chop each item, go ahead and go and give it your pasta a stir. So what I'm going to do is, with the pepper, is I'm cutting around the top to get the green part out. Very careful with this. And pull that out. And then you've got that. And then you cut this in half. Okay, and we'll bag up one of these. And then you take your knife and you cut out the little white part inside here. And then I usually go and give my pasta, my pepper rinse to make sure I get all the seeds out. The seeds are what are spicy. Okay. And because I was up anyways, I stirred the pasta. And now we're just gonna cut this into smaller pieces. Might help if you can, you know, actually see what I'm doing. Go like this and go. So a trick that I was taught when cutting stuff is you push forward and then back. And then it just gives you that little bit of momentum so that you're not cutting, you're not pressing too hard and cutting towards yourself because when you're cutting towards yourself that with a dull blade, that is when you're most likely to cut yourself. So. 
I'm just kind of making these bite sized. And if you wanted to, you could probably fry up your peppers and uh, onions ahead of time too, or eat them raw, whichever you like. So now I'm just gonna start putting these in here. Because I'm gonna have a half cup of yellow and a half cup of either red or orange, because that's what I was able to buy at the store. Technically, the recipe calls for red and green peppers, but sometimes you just gotta make do. And because of how much yellow pepper I cut out, this is actually gonna be my full cup, so I guess we're just using one color of pepper in here today. And of course, you've gotta sample your ingredients while you're cooking too, make sure that everything's gonna taste all right. Just gonna cut off a little bit more. Okay, so we've got a cup of peppers. Toss that in there. Okay, and now we need to add a of pizza mozzarella. Plus a little bit extra because who doesn't love cheese? Again, you got a snack and taste your ingredients. And then we need a half a cup of red onion. And my coworker did cut some up the other day with her recipe, so I'm just gonna take what she has cut up. So a half cup and put that in. And then our pepperoni. So we need, I think we should do a cup and a half of that too. These ones are really big, so we are going to cut them smaller. If I can figure out how to open this. Apparently this one is resealable. So I'm just gonna grab that and open it that way. Amazing what happens when you, you know, actually read directions. Just going to grab a stack of pepperoni and get it kind of all together to make it easier to cut. And just go. Cut them into quarters, maybe eighths. Just like you would cut up a pizza. And a half cup. Okay. And now we're gonna stir this all together first, just to kind of help get everything loose and ready. Actually, 
actually my pasta should theoretically be done. So we're gonna switch over to that first. Okay, so I've been gently boiling my pasta and we're just gonna bring one out. Cool it off, so we want it to cool it. And just take a quick bite of it to see if it's cooked. So you don't want it like rubbery, but you want it like soft to eat. So this is ready. I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm going to go and drain this and run cold water on it to help it cool off faster. And now our pasta should be cooled because again, we ran it under cold water and then we let it sit for a couple minutes. So we're gonna add that in. that together and we're almost done we're just gonna add a cup of pasta sauce to this as well and then stir that all together and then you want to let this sit for an hour in the fridge, okay? Or at least an hour, I should say. You can let it sit longer too if you want. now it's ready to eat. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day and I hope you enjoy this on a day where it's just too hot to have anything hot and we'll see you next time. Bye!